You have found yourself on another episode of Locked On Bulls. Javante Green scores his career high in a win over the New York Knicks that also saw four Bulls get double-doubles in the same game. But unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows as the Bulls do lose Alice Caruso and Kobe White as well in this game. Two ankle injuries. Me and Pat are going to break it all down, talk about it right after this. You are Locked On Bulls, your daily podcast on the Chicago Bulls, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central. Nope. Wait, wrong, wrong, wrong show. Nope. New York We're going to another there. episode of Locked On Bulls. A uh, member of the Locked On Podcast Network, where it's your team every single day. <laughs> That's Pat, the designer, host and creator of the Windy City Breeze and host of the Chicago Bears podcast over at ESPN 1000. I'm Hayes, host and creator of Chicago Bulls and Chicago Bears Central YouTube Crazy. pages and podcasts. Uh, Pat, man, um, Javante Green, bro. The Javante Green impact is a real Thing we'll talk about the win a little bit more in detail when we talk about the four Bulls that scored double doubles in this game. But I want to talk about the impact. Not only did he score his career high of 25 points, which is his own special thing, but yeah. Javante Green played 33 minutes in this game. In that time, the Bulls had a plus minus of plus 10, they had a net rating of 14.7, an offensive rating of 111.8, a defensive rating of 97. Which keep in mind, defensive average defensive rating is 110, the lower number is the better number. They also got 66% of total rebounds, had a true shooting percentage of 55.8%, got 87% of all defensive rebounds out there, and blocked 7% of available. Listen, when Javante Green was on the court, the Bulls were damn near an elite team tonight. <laughs> That's just the way that, that you shake it up, bro. And and listen, it tone setters. Tone yeah. setters. That's what Javante Green is. That Here's the one thing, and this is why when everybody sits there and they snipe at me about Patrick Williams or they snipe at me about all these players that we talk about day in and day out, well, Pat, you're just hating on these guys. They're not calling plays for these guys. Not one play was called for this young man tonight. He just went out there and made a dang play. Tone setter. A guy who was out there doing everything that he could to find an opportunity to help his team get a win. You have to commend Javante Green. This man literally put up his career high after coming out of the G League, missing so much time in the NBA, going through a lot of downs this season, probably being able to now get his highest up of the season. And guess what he does with it? He's still cutting to the basket. He's still finding the open shot. He's he's still running to the corner when he's supposed to be running to the corner. He's doing the things that got him to the league, what, seven years ago at this point now, that got him into the NBA the same way he was doing them probably down in the G League, the same way he's been doing them his entire career because that's how winning basketball is done. And this young man understands it, man. I love the fact, young man, Javante older than me. Jav- I love the fact that Javante is uh, is back on the Bulls, and I love the, the energy that he's bringing, the tone that he's setting. And I think that when you, when, when you look at what's been missing from this Bulls team all year, it's realistically just another guy that's willing to do those things. Well, yeah, and, you know, the things that we talk about that I complain a lot about is not is not moving without the ball. Javante Green did and showed exactly why. Never seen him so stop it, moving. He's still moving right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why it's so impactful for the Bulls. And then, you know, you can take that even further, right? Some of the, some of the lineups that we saw with Javante Green out there, him, Drummond, and Alice Caruso on the court together, you talk about elite, bro. The defensive rating of those three players, they played six minutes together, so not a whole large sample size. But you don't have to. When it's this impactful, you don't necessarily have to have a large sample size of it. It's just a line that you use at the right time. But lineups with Caruso, Javante, and Drum out there together, a defensive rating of 57. Like, that would, just to take that, that would be the best defensive rating in history as a, as a, as a five-man unit if that were to happen, or it's not, but if that were to happen, yeah. like that's how elite having those three players out there on the court. And guess what? All three of those players do. They all move without the ball. 
They all understand how to operate in space. They all move out in transition as well. It was it was just great to see. It was great basketball to see. And and listen, I love the fact that we get this win tonight because it's about how we got the win. Like we like we've been talking about with Javante. You got the win tonight because you had a bunch of guys that were willing to do this. You had a bunch of guys on the floor tonight that were willing to say whatever it takes to go out here and do it. We're not worried about being the the best team in the NBA right now. We're just worrying about being better than the New York Knicks. And the New York Knicks took a major blow, no diddy, when um Jo- when Josh given, Hart, but hey, I mean, listen. Uh, when uh, when when Josh Hart ends up getting ejected in the first quarter, which was insane. That was crazy. That was, yeah. hey, we everybody in the in the world was like flagrant one, flagrant two uh, foul on Josh Hart. We're gonna he's gonna be ejected from the game. What? Like that changed the game so much to me for the Knicks. But I think right, you see that. And normally what the Bulls would do is what? Uh, we we don't have to worry about Josh Hart tonight. We just got to worry about Brunson. Hey, let, all right, we're good. Let's just get to the get to the finish line. That's not what happened tonight. Io DeSumo and uh, uh, um, Javante Green in that first half, both moving without the ball, cutting, flying, following each other, keeping the foot on the neck of the New York Knicks just about the entire time in this game until we had some injuries pop up. Like, That's what I've been wanting to see from this team all season. And it took a guy that we had to go out and and get from last season, who we're all pretty sure is selling weed and beat CDs out of the back of some kind of 86 cut list right now. But (laughs) Javante, Javante, come on, dog. You know what I mean? Like (laughs) no, Javante's selling the individual squares out the out the corner. He's selling Lucy's. He's selling he's he's selling selling J. Cole albums right now. Yeah, I mean, that that, like, that and bags of ice. I feel like he's also selling <laughs> bags of ice as well. He might like. be a tube sock guy. If you know the tube sock guy, you know what I'm saying. That's bro, a, that, that's well, I haven't you, seen a tube sock guy in like a decade, bro. That's crazy. Hey, bro, you just ain't been up here. <laughs> They're still out there, my guy. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's wild. Yeah, that's still funny. selling the tube socks. When the I last bet, time? I bet they're probably off 75th, probably. Let us know in the comments the last time you saw the tube sock guy. Yeah, please let us know. Hey, uh, I seen him. Straight off, getting off of 294, going the, towards. Does the Rose uh, guy still? Is the Rose guy still? The Rose out there? guy's still out there. The Rose okay, guy's still out right. there. I think it's a different guy now, though. I think he's passed the business on to another. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't have a good way to say that. So I'm gonna just move on. <laughs> I, had, I had no good way. I bought, I bought a. Ro- I bought a, my mama a Rose off the Rose guy once. He was outside the shed when we left the shed, just walking around, and I was like, I'm gonna give my mama a Rose. So. Did your mama call you out for getting it from the Rose guy? No, she didn't know where it came oh, okay, from. She cool. was just happy that her son brought her home a Rose. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is when it comes down to. Uh, I'm sure he's related to Javante. That's why Javante loves the city so Let much. me ask but, you this, though. Let me ask you this. Uh-huh. On some basketball stuff again. We know why Javante's here, right? This is a prep for the play-in to make the play-in yes. tournament interesting. Yes. Do you like the fact that you're getting this kind of impact and we can praise it, but it's at the cost of minutes for Dale and Terry, even though he was able to get some due to injury tonight, minutes, today, yeah. minutes for uh, Uner Alpa team minutes for uh, uh, um, Julian Phillips, all guys who we've basically seen fall completely out of the rotation. And Julian was halfway out of the rotation. Well, already. Julian's out injury. That's what created the space for, for Javon Javante to come. That's true. So, That's true. So that, and, and then Dalen was still, he was like the second player off the bench today. So it tells me that at least Billy Donovan's still committed to playing him some minutes. OB is out the rotation at this yeah, point now. That's crazy. OB's looking at those minutes crazy, and just bro. being like, at this point, all OB can is soak it all in and hit the offseason hard and earn your role next season because I'm sorry, uh, OB, you have a vis- officially been, I wish we had a sound effect, voted off the island. You're no, you're no longer playing. Man. It's you and Javon Carter. Might as well go ahead and get you a nice dice game going over there on the side because that's all that's coming for you. Bro. <laughs> that's a scary dice game. I'm not going to lie. I guarantee you Javon Carter don't shoot the dice either. He just going to oh, keep no. pump faking. He just going <laughs> to... That's and you know what he's had a bad impact on Ob. Like they pointed it out in, in my chat. Like Ob has just been pumped. For, like just shoot the ball, bro. It's got to be shoot. It's got to be ball. something with with uh, Peter Patton, bro. The whole team pump fake. I don't believe it, bro. Because Io be. doesn't it's do gotta that. Be. <laughs> Io doesn't do that. <laughs> Io just shoots. No, Io had to break himself of it. Io was king pump fake last year. Drive to the middle. Peter throw Patton was order. here last year. Hey, though, so we it can't was, it was Peter already, Patton on yeah, It was already in the middle. 
Sick of it. <laughs> But no, shouts out to for Javante Green and the impact that he's had. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, with the injuries, he may end up going into the starting lineup, but we'll talk about that yeah. more so towards the end of the show. The Bulls had four players scoring double double, something that has not happened for the Bulls. I don't know if ever. I, I know Stacey King gave the stat. It, but it, it happened. Uh, so Casey Johnson updated. Well, I, we'll tell him in the segment. Okay. But it we'll, tell, we'll, yeah. we'll go over that in the, in the second segment. Before we get into that, though, I got to talk to you guys about one of our sponsors, and that is Robinhood. Did you know that even if you have a 401k retirement, you can still have an IRA. Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from, from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to the IRA with a 3% match this offer is good through april 30th get started at robinhood.com slash boost subscription fees apply and now for some legal info the claim is as of quarter one of 2024 validated by radius global market research investing involves risk including loss limitations apply to iras and 401ks the three percent match requires Robinhood gold for one year from the date of the first three percent match must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to special terms and conditions. Robinhood IRAs are available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC, is a registered broker dealer. All right, Pat. Four bulls in double-doubles today, man. Big game. Um, you get double-doubles from both. Uh, Andre Drummond, Nikola Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan also has a double-double today with points and assists. And then you also get a double-double from Javante Green, who we just spent a lot of time talking about. How'd you feel about the performance from the Bulls today and ultimately the, that put out, pushed them to get this win tonight? It's so crazy because the season has been so bad, everybody forgot that this happened. This has happened twice now, um, at least in the 2000s. It's the first, everybody thought on, this bro. was the first hold on, time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to put this comment up here because this is wild. We got the meat man. Is that what you, you felt like typing that was the right thing, my boy? <laughs> Wasn't Diddy just seen in Vegas as well? Wasn't he just seen in Vegas? I'm I'm uh, y'all wait. So no, I we gotta address this. Now hold on. <laughs> y'all got a dude to just like now nah, this is gonna sound That's crazy. What I'm saying. Pause He's the gonna, segment. Pause the whole pause segment. It. Pause you got the a whole dude out there is just selling meat. <laughs> Dude out there just selling me like like steaks. <laughs> like he just sell it like who? And here's the problem: he's clearly doing this because he's making some kind of profit. That means people are buying meat off of a random dude in the street. Wait, how is he keeping it cool and refrigerated? He just got he just probably got a cooler. I mean, like I would assume. I, mean, I don't point, know. You can't just say can't just call him the meat man. You got to call him the meat slinger. Like you got to say hey, something like no. slanging meat. <laughs> <laughs> the meat man, meat man. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey, we got the best chat in basketball, bro, man. Oh, need man, it. that's crazy, bro. Hey, by the way, uh, if y'all haven't done so, subscribe to the page, man. We got we to make sure we get these subscribers. Up. We're trying to get over 10K on this month. So yeah. uh, back to uh, outside of the meat on this channel, Jesus. Um, Casey Johnson and, and had believed that this is the first time four pl Bulls players had scored in the same game since 2003. But actually, this season's been so bad, we forgot we did it this year. Dang, really? We did this on 228 this season versus Cleveland, the game we won against Cleveland. DeRozan, Booch, Drummond, and Kobe all had double-doubles in that game. Shout out to them, brothers. So, um, but listen, th this is a formula to win, especially with the style of basketball that the Chicago Bulls are playing. Um, we, we, we've, we've talked about it at nauseum, uh, with this team, they took 23, three pointers tonight. You know what that means? Everybody's got to be crashing the boards on uh, offensive and defensive rebounds. Everybody has to be always moving downhill. You have to attack the bucket. You have to follow up your shot. This is a style of basketball that is not sustainable. In my opinion, as you can see, we've only done it once in two on two twenty eight, And then before that in 2003, but I do think that, you know, when you see a team who doesn't shoot the three ball, you got to find other ways to be innovative. And, and tonight was a good way for them to be innovative. And I, it's the only argument that I can see for saying, <sighs> maybe we need to get 
uh, um, Andre Drummond a little bit more minutes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Like, it's the only one. Now, he played more minutes tonight, but, like, it's the only argument I can see for that because if you're not going to shoot the three, you do need the rebounds. And this team's not going to put the three ball up. Yeah, I mean that that's that's a good point there. I we both feel the same way about playing drum. You know you got four fouls coming at some point in the first quarter. Yeah, and it just depends on like how and how you ride that momentum. I mean, 24 minutes from drum today, 10, 10 points, 10 yep. rebounds, three steals from Drummond, one block. Like he played extremely well. He did have four fouls, but that, like you said, that's to be expected from Andre Drummond at some point in time. Um, I also like how Billy Donovan did use the the double big lineup today. Only eight minutes of it today, but this is probably the most effective that we've seen it ever be. So, yeah, I mean, listen, and I think Javante Green helps that right because you yeah. saw moments where there was the the double tip, um, crazy action. We paused the whole segment. We paused the whole segment. <laughs> We pause the whole segment. It started with the meat man. Hey, you ain't never, you, you, you've never seen Hayes put the glasses back on. <laughs> we started with the meat man and then we end with the double. The double That's tip, crazy. Hey. No, no, you saw you saw right like uh, Drum and, and Vooch both trying to fight for a rebound, and then Javante Green comes up and cleans up the action. Yeah, I mean, like so. I think that that's that's kind of you're gonna need something like that. You're gonna need some kind of lineup similar mm. to that for the double big lineup to work, which is also crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I got to give Billy credit. You know, I, I crit critique Br Billy, and I got to be just as loud. He managed the lineups, especially considering that you had players go down with the injuries today. I like the way he managed the lineups. Was it perfect? No. I mean, it's, but it's never going to be. And But, you know, especially for Tibbs, a player that uh, a coach that we know likes to get creatives and use different lineups when he can. Now, we know the Knicks are do have a lot of players out with injuries as well. Uh, this was OG and Anobi's first game back in a while as well. But uh, I... Billy Donovan played the matchup game, the chess match portion of coaching, really good tonight against Tibbs, who was really good at that point of the game, too. I got to give him some credit on that one. Yeah, it makes it easier when Tibbs is working with a half a deck, though. Yeah, I said that's deck. true. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that, that's, you know, losing Julius Randle for the season. This season's pretty much done. Uh, but Tibbs will navigate this as best as anybody. Um, you you end up losing Josh Hart mid game here, not even mid game in the first quarter of the game. What was it? Four yeah. minutes left in the first quarter, something yeah, like that. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy early. Um, excuse me, and you know you've got Jalen Brunson, who uh, the one guy we haven't talked about that we got to talk about. I don't know what happened between freaking uh um. What school did he go to? Was he Lake Zurich? I'm trying to remember what high school he went to. I only I watched him cook my high school so many times. You know, Brunson? Uh Jalen Brunson. He went to Stevenson, I believe. Uh, I don't know what beef there was between Stevenson and uh and Morgan Park, but every time Io Dasumu sees Jalen Brunson walk in that building, he says, Hey, we got to do something tonight. And Io got off to a heck of a start in this game. And I think, you know, having Javante Green and his scoring output, you can't talk about it enough. But Io DeSumo has set the leadership tone. And especially when Kobe White went out, it was almost like he was like, don't worry, Kobe, get your stuff together. I got this. Yeah, I mean, Io, Io is, has grown a lot. And I think that, you know, because Io's had to play a very different uh, role, right? We've only gotten to see Io, like, be a true point guard at the time where Kobe missed those, those couple of games. But um, Io's grown as a passer as well. Uh, this season, his understanding of pacing has been a lot better. Not only his own pacing, but how to how to operate an offense. And it's it just it. Do you pair that with that same defense? I this is back to I'd say this. I was a better defender even than what he was his rookie year at this point in time because it seems like he's understanding how to use angles and his strength a little bit better. So I was turned rounded out to a nice two way player. What? I'm just trying. I don't. I. I don't know if I agree with the, that. He's a better defender. I think he's a better player overall. And so I mean, yeah, he's a better defensive. overall player. But I would say Io's decisions on pick and roll still Io's, has issues in pick and roll defense. He's grown a lot in pick, yeah, pick yeah, and roll yeah. defense. His rookie year was he was getting cooked. I mean, listen, the Bulls still get cooked in pick and roll defense. Oh, yeah, that's, the team. that's what I'm talking about. Io's. Like, don't get me wrong. As a team, we are the worst pick and roll defensive team in the league, bro. Hey, bro, like, we gotta be. Is there's a stat to look that up? We gotta find that because. The Chicago Bulls have to be one of the worst pick and roll teams in NBA history, bro. Like they, yeah, they can't figure out who takes the ball, who takes the roller. It is like mind boggling to me. Like they don't practice it in the slightest. So I don't know, man. 
Yeah, we got to work on that for sure. Definitely got to fix it. But, hey, before we get into this final topic, talking about some of the injury issues that Chicago Bulls do end up getting coming out of this game, we got to tell you about Amazon Fire TV, which is uh, this segment is brought to you by this show is brought to you by Fire TV as your destination for sports or live gaming. From highlights to in-depth analysis, Fire TV offers an amazing viewing experience with smart TVs as well as the Fire TV stick that you can plug into your existing TV that provides access to millions of movies, TV episodes, as well as free live TV. I feel like I landed stick way too hard in that ad read. Whether it's opening weekend for baseball. Yeah, I I was. Yeah, when it's word for word, it throws me off a little bit. Uh, whether it's opening weekend of baseball, college basketball, which my God, the tournament tonight, uh, that was an offensive foul. You have to call that offensive foul because that was a moving screen. Yes, it was. It's okay, guys. Move on. Uh, you're going to want Fire TV in your home. And they recently created a channel to deliver a constant supply of the latest videos from your favorite sports brands all for free. And guess what? That includes us. I have watched me and Hayes on fire TV and guess what? Pretty fire. Not going to lie. We're just seeing like the locked on bulls logo. Bow. We in that mug. Yeah. I'm saying it includes all of us at locked on. No. And most of the big pro leagues and college conferences as well. Fell on that stuck big there. Way too hard too. All right. I got to get out of this ad read. Not to mention great news, entertainment, gaming, travel, cooking videos as well. Check out Fire TV channels on Fire TV and Alexa devices. If you haven't checked out Fire TV channels, you should. Trust me on this. To learn more, visit Amazon.com forward slash locked on Fire TV. Got another ad read there, brother. Do I? Hold on now. That dang it. <laughs> Nissan stuck up on me. Nissan driving in very quiet engine on a Nissan. That's how it snuck up on me. 2024 Nissan Rogue is perfect for city drives and escapes. And if you're the kind of guy that likes to push things further, (laughs) you got to get in line with Nissan. Ever wonder what adventure could be around the next corner? Our friends at Nissan have a lineup of SUVs with the capabilities to take your adventure to the next level class exclusive google built into the nissan rogue helps you assist there is no more connecting your phone google assistant google maps google play store are all built right into the 12.3 inch hd touchscreen informant system the 2024 rogue is the perfect mid-size crossover for your next adventure 2024 nissan armada will also change what you expect from a full-size suv picture fit Jesus, picture a rugged four by four that can seat up to eight and first class luxury and style tow bigger and explore further in the 2024 Armada. Take the Nissan Rogue, Nissan Pathfinder or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Shop NissanUSA.com. Hey, bro, you have a rough night there, hey, brother. Kicked my butt on that one, bro. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. That was a tough ad read moment. That was a tough moment. <laughs> I've done a lot of shows. <laughs> you have, you have. Done a lot of shows with us. Speaking of tough moments, man, we had two of them tonight. Alice Caruso and Kobe White in separate times and separate places of the game go down with ankle injuries. Kobe White goes down before the end of the first half. I don't think he plays at all in the second half of this game. Alice Caruso goes down later in the game. Um, I don't think I need to 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 make sure that I, uh, I make it any stronger point of how important those two players are. If we miss those two players for any of these last five games, not that the Bulls are locked in for a plan, so we're going to be in the plan regardless, but uh, that makes it a lot more difficult to hold on to that 19. <sighs> yeah, but I think here's, I guess, the good parts of this that we heard tonight. Um, Kobe walked out under his own power. Mm-hmm. AC walked out under his own power. Neither of them seemed to have any limp. Uh, this is per Billy Donovan. They'll get x-rays. They'll take. They'll do their checks and all of that stuff. Um, but it doesn't seem like it was anything serious. Maybe they need a day or something like that away from practice, but it seems like the Bulls are going to be okay. It seems like uh, both uh, Caruso and Kobe are going to be okay. Listen, w- Caruso has been questionable the entire season. Oh, yeah, he's been, he's yeah, been I mean, listening to an injury report almost every week of the season. So, so. I, I fully expect Caruso to be um, back out there by our next game. Uh, Kobe maybe. You know, I I would almost say Kobe is going to do the same thing. He's going to try and push through this because I think Kobe realizes the time off has not done him well on the other side of this. He struggled to find his shot again. He's found it in moments, but it hasn't been 
consistent for him. Only 13 minutes tonight as well, but he was not shooting the three ball well. I would say Kobe's probably going to sit there and say, hey, listen, I'm I'm not missing any games either. We're back out here. We're going to fight through the injuries. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I do like the fact that guys are willing to fight through the injuries, and I think that's what we're going to see from both these guys. Well, especially Caruso, because if he wants to make that all-defensive first team, did you hear about this? So the rule is, I didn't know about this extra wrinkle. So there's a rule. We all know the 65-game limit of rule, course. right? But there's an extra layer to that rule that for the games to count, you have to play over 20 minutes. So even though Kobe, I mean, uh, Alice Cruz has played 67 games this season, only 60 of the games he's played over 20 minutes in. So he still needs to play. Now you can allocate two games that you played at least 15 minutes in. You can count that towards it. But he still needs three more games of playing over 20 minutes to be able to qualify for all defensive first. Isn't it stupid? Like, I was cool with the 65 game limit. I'm cool with that. But to add a minute to say that, oh, by the way, in those 65 games, you got to play over 20 minutes. What are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about? When, when, when they come up with this part, I don't remember reading that in the initial you dig, and I read the rules. When they, when they come up with that, what, what was it the second that Alice Crusoe was about to win <laughs> uh, all defensive, be on all defensive first team? Why, why would... Why? So then nobody's going to be on it. Like, who's the n- – name me 10 defenders in the NBA right now. Let's start there. <laughs> name me 10 defenders or five defenders for the All-NBA first team. We're going Dylan Brooks, Shea. Grace and they got to play over 20 minutes. Jimmy. Jimmy. Gobert. Definitely Gobert. That's a great one. Who, who, <laughs> yo, I'm out, I don't know. I'm bro. out of elite defenders right now, dog. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, the stupid rule, bro. I'm, I'm, the 65 I'm four guys in. I'm out of elite defenders. I was 100% okay with the 65 games. I had no problem with that. None. But you got You had to add in a wrinkle. Like, like what does that mean for? Like, well, the 66, the six man of the year doesn't have to play 65 games, so that makes sense because you can't tell a six man that necessarily you have to play over 20 minutes. But like, it's just it's a stupid, stupid nah, extra I feel like layer. I, to add if you're the six man, you're supposed to be playing at least 20 minutes. I'm just saying, if there's any award that you don't put that have that on, I can understand it not being on that one. But it's like, come on, Wemby. Okay, good call on Wemby. Yeah, Wimby's definitely. Wimby's I threw definitely. Dylan Brooks on there. Like, I, I honestly, I was trying to say, can we find ten guys who are all playing over twenty minutes on the court, who are elite defenders? You like, have to average twenty how, minutes, but you have to play twenty over twenty minutes in sixty-five games. I, here's here's the tough part: how many has Wimby played? Well, you know now they have been allowing him to play thirty minutes, so I'm sure Wimby's Wimby's up there at this. I'm point. just I'm just saying that was a that was a recent change. That's probably the last twenty games. How many games he played over twenty minutes? I don't know, man. That's a weird one. That's it's a weird. A, one. It's a, it's a re- yeah. It's it's a very weird wrinkle to already add into a obscure rule at that. Like why make it more difficult? So Wimby won two. Shit, Wimby's played almost over over. She yeah, w- w- no, Wimby's Wimby's got it. I didn't realize Wimby's played this many games over 30 minutes. How many has he played? The problem with Wemby hasn't been playing over 30 minutes. The problem has been, hey, Pop, one, why won't you give him the ball? And two, why isn't he playing at the end of games or in the yeah. important moments where you need him out there? Yeah, he's about he's at a, he's about 63, if I'm counting correctly. He's only played 67 games too, so that's still right. Shout out to them. I didn't realize they've been played let when we play that over 30 minutes that many times. So yeah. yeah. Hey, anyway, uh back to Caruso and, and Kobe. Get well, guys. Like we need you. That's all it is. I'm glad that they walked out, out of their own power. But we also heard about that after Kobe White. Then he missed four games. So I'm just saying, I just never know what to t- take hey, with this. We did, team. honestly. If we yeah. so. Oh man, that sucks. But I don't know. This, this is a uh oh, I can't see anything. Hold on, give me a second. This is a uh there we go. It's a tough blow for the Bulls, but I think that it's one that they can uh, bounce back from, uh especially knowing AC is going to be able to play. And uh I think that you just got to go out there and you you got to give it all you got, you know what I'm saying? You you've had some very interesting word choices today, my boy. Like it's been a tough blow. Okay. That's a that's a, that's Give me a tough so, word let's choice. get up out of here, bro. It's, it's, it's a just tough time word to choice. It's just time to go. Bro. Tough blow. It's time to go. Never had a tough blow. 
Uh, <laughs> or maybe we've all had a tough blow. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in, showing love. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page, leave a five star view. Y'all know what to do. You can follow me on everything at Pat the Designer. Follow us both on everything at Locked On Bulls. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a win. So we got to go. No Julius Randle. Josh Hart got booted. Javante Green was in the game. Stole the ball. That's looted. I don't know. That wasn't the best one. I don't know. No, did it. That was that, that was one of your worst endings. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was a weak one. I, I gotta start. Still there. There. It's been weird. It's been a weird night. Make sure you guys are follow. You can follow me at CEO Hayes. You can follow us collectively at Locked On Bulls. We are free and available on every podcasting app and platform of your choice, as well as YouTube. For Pat the Designer, this has been Locked On Bulls. We out of here. Peace, y'all. What was that of your choice right there? Y'all heard that? Hey, man, it's of your choice. Of your hey, choice. Hey. I was not throwing the meat man in there. (laughs) Throw the meat man in there is wild. Hey, yo! (laughs) You you definitely should have thrown the take that. Take that. No diddy.